This video has kindly been sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning, dear friends. Or, it's not actually morning anymore. Good afternoon, dear friends. It is Saturday, December the 11th, and on Saturday, December the 18th, I will be going to a party. I will be going to a party in the 1865 evening gown I've just made. And because of that, I need to make myself a new corset. This evening gown has like a super low neckline off the shoulder and a low back, meaning that my current corset with the very high back and the high shoulder straps is not going to work. It's just not. So being the clever person who bites off more than they can chew that I am, I'm gonna try to make a new one so I actually have something to wear under this dress. I'm gonna use the same pattern as my high back shoulder support corset. I'm just going to remove the shoulder straps, do a more traditional sort of low straight across back. And I don't think I'm gonna do the extra like back support boning. I'm just gonna do sort of like a standard couple bones on every seam situation. I've redrafted the pattern, just traced it out and then used the pattern I pulled from the Dark Garden uh, Green Brocade corset that they let me take a pattern from. That's my like original shape. I've used that and just sort of taken the, the top lines from that. But to decide what height it is, I've also measured my existing corset and tried to make sure that that top edge is gonna hit like right below my shoulder blades. So there's nothing like pushing my shoulder blades forward. We're gonna see how fast I can do this corset. I might even be able to go back and look at the timestamps of what I filmed and tell you how long it actually took me working on this. Um, this is not gonna be the quickest method ever. I want to use my existing materials. I want to use the super pretty uh, point shoe pink corsetry satin I have, and that has to be flatlined. And I'm using a slightly roundabout method of doing the channels because I'm still gonna have it like open up and unlace at the hips so I can wear pads underneath for more comfort. So it's not gonna be the quickest method ever, but we're still gonna see if I can get it done. Uh, I have got an absolutely massive pot of tea going. I have the rest of the afternoon and the evening, and we're gonna see how much I can get done. It is Saturday evening. It's really Saturday night. It's not like crazy late, but it's it's getting late. I am out of tea. I am perilously close to out of spoons, but I've made decent progress for, for, for one afternoon spent on this thing. I've managed to get all the pieces cut out um, and pinned more or less all the way together. I managed to get all of the flat lining done. And I even managed to get as far as sewing the busk in. So that's one of the more annoying parts of the process and that's done. Okay, taken care of. So tomorrow I can basically just get straight on with constructing the corset. Could be worse. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. Good morning, friends. It is Sunday. I think it is still actually morning. I have got a fresh pot of tea and we're gonna see if we can turn this into something that actually resembles a corset today. So everything's flatlined, the busk is in. Um, I actually realized that I screwed up the flatlining a little bit on the center back pieces and I flat lined them when I should have just like uh, put them right sides together and, and turned them and pressed them out um, before flatlining so I can have that neat closure at the center back. So I will have to go in and redo that, but thankfully I caught it at this point before I actually started constructing the corset. So for now, um, I need to get these pieces put together into something that can actually, you know, go onto a human body. And I'll work on it as much as I can today. I've got pretty much the whole day, but today I'll be happy if I manage to get the whole thing constructed and maybe even the side lacing done. Um, there's gonna be, just like on the other corset, there's gonna be side lacing um, at the 
side seam between panels three and four to open up and allow me to put hip pads underneath to take strain off of my lower back. It'll make the corset much more comfortable, but it is a little fussy to do, and it means I have to set a bunch of grommets into each side and do the boning channels there a little bit differently. So we'll see if we can get that done today. Um, while I'm setting eyelets, if I get that far, I might even try to set them into the center back. So we'll get that done. I think it'll be easier also to set the center back eyelets before I put the center back panel onto the corset because I don't wanna to have to be wrangling an entire corset while I'm trying to set eyelets. That sounds very annoying. So if I can get that out of the way beforehand. Okay, enough chattering at you, much as I love you, it's time to get sewing. Bloody hell, it is freezing in here. My tea's already cold. So it is Sunday evening and I got a decent enough amount done today. Um, my shoulders have informed me that it is time to stop. So I am not going to argue with them. We did manage to get pretty much all the pieces put together. So that's good. Um, we have something that actually looks like a corset now it's it's actually sort of human body shaped it was great um i managed to get some of the boning channels done so we've got the side lacing we've got the eyelets and everything in for that and the channels done there and i even managed to do a couple more of the other ones but on the other hand i was doing the eyelets for the center back lacing and i ran out so that's not great um i probably should have checked before i started working on this but um we're just going to have to order some more or, uh, I mean, absolute worst case, I'll just find a craft store somewhere I can get to this week that has them. So that's this the solvable problem. It better be a solvable problem. But yeah, uh, anyways, uh, I hurt and it's cold and we're going to turn in for the night. I had to spend Monday in bed, so no corset sewing happened, but I was able to do some more work on my website. And oh my gosh, guys, it's so pretty. Squarespace is lending me their platform to build my site as well as sponsoring this video series. One of the things I got done on Monday was the alt text or image descriptions for the photos. It's super easy. You just click on the photograph icon to get to the gallery, then click the photo and write whatever you need to. Image descriptions are a super important accessibility feature so people who use screen readers or can't see the pictures can still experience your website. And they're also really great for SEO. Visit squarespace.com slash snappydragon and use code snappydragon for 10% off your first website or domain purchase. And now I shall hand things back to Corset Sewing V, who is hopefully feeling better after a day off. Hello, friends. It is not Monday. It is Tuesday. Yesterday, my body decided to inform me that resting was not optional, and I had been pushing myself far too hard, and therefore a day in bed would be required. And I didn't really have much choice but to listen, so yeah, uh, it's Tuesday. The good news is that as of last night, I have an assembled corset that is very much starting to resemble the real thing, and I'm crossing my fingers that this this should be doable on the timeline I have. Well, I've pretty much moved on to the boning channels. I've got the side lacing. I've even got some of the boning channels done, but I still have to do the rest of them. And then I have to get the boning actually into the corset. I need to do the seam reinforcement since this is a corset that's constructed where it's literally just pieces sewn together. It's not got welt seams or like applied boning channels or anything to sort of like strength. It's literally just held together by the stitching. I'm gonna try to reinforce that as much as I can. So that means we're gonna have a waste tape and that means all of the construction seams are gonna be stitched in the ditch, which means just run a line of stitching literally through the seam, not catching the fabric if possible. Um, it's kind of precise and annoying, but I think it's the only thing that's gonna make this corset hold up with the construction method involved. And I think I should be able to essentially place the waste tape I'm gonna curve it a little bit to follow like the curve of the waist, how that goes higher on the back of the body and then pin it in place. And hopefully with the, the stitching in the ditch, I should be able to use that to secure the waist tape on in one step. If I manage to get all that done today, I'll move on to binding. Um, basically make um, strips out of the fabric. Hopefully I'll have enough that I won't have to do any of the weird nonsense I decided to do 
on my previous corset. I can just make strips on the straight of grain with the shine of the satin. It'll look much nicer and it'll fold much easier because it'll fold with the grain, with, with the direction those fibers are going. I know how my sewing machine handles with like multiple layers of heavy fabric, and that's one of the few things that it will really complain about. So if I try to make like double fold binding tape and sew the binding on all in one go, it's gonna choke, it's gonna hate me, I will break several needles, and it probably just won't even get done. So yeah, we will, we will sew the binding on right side to right side, flip it together, and then I'll just have that one folded under edge that can be secured by stitch in the ditch and all the rod will be covered. Okay, it's getting really late. I am so tired. It's also getting really cold in here. I think the temperature's dropping outside. But we have almost a finished corset. So I will, unless something horrible happens, have a corset to wear to this party that is coming up. It's Wednesday evening. We have what is very much starting to resemble a corset. The bottom binding is on and it really just needs boning and the top binding. And this went so much faster than when I had to do binding on the other corset that was like going around the straps or the binding was cut opposite on the grain and it didn't bend easily. Also the rest of the grommets got here so I can finish that part. So fingers crossed, I will be able to get this whole thing done this evening. I don't know if I'll be able to floss it before the party I'm going to on Saturday. We'll, we'll see how much I feel like hand sewing in the evenings uh, versus editing the video that I really need to be editing this week. But this is not the sort of party where anybody's gonna be looking closely at my underwear. It's not. I just made a fresh pot of tea, Earl Grey this time. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna need the caffeine because it's cold and rainy out and I always have no energy at all when the weather's this bad. I'm gonna prep a bunch of synthetic baleen and I don't know, sing wailing songs while I do it. Greenland is a dreadful place of where there's ice and snow and the wind is just blow. Friends, she's done. We have a functioning strapless corset. Well, not fully functioning yet because it needs laces. And I kind of forgot to buy more lacing cord, a theme of this project, I guess. But thankfully, Lucis is not terribly far away. I'll just go over tomorrow afternoon and pick some up. And I will have a corset to wear under this, this evening gown bodice. Um, there are definitely some mistakes in it. It's not the cleanest looking corset ever and it hasn't been flossed yet. There's the fact that the busk doesn't match the eyelets because I just grabbed the only one they had in the right length and only thought about hardware color later. Um, also some of the eyelets don't match each other because I ran out partway through. And I realized that there was supposed to be a boning channel on either side of the eyelets and there isn't. I think it's gonna be okay either way. Um, I would say, oh, I can just go back and add one later, but I can't. So I think this is just gonna have to be good enough. Um, I will report back after the party and let you all know how it does its job. But uh, yeah, Saturday to Wednesday, not bad for a sewist at my level making an entire corset and not with one of the easy methods either. Hello friends, it is now after the party, I am pleased to tell you it was a great success. The corset worked super well under the evening dress bodice. It didn't show, it didn't look awkward, everything fit beautifully. I didn't get the flossing done in time for the party, but I have done it since and it is so pretty. I'm super proud of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I always feel like flossing is the thing that takes a corset from looking like eh, to really like historical and finished and and fancy. <laughs> wearing, wearing a corset that's been flossed always makes me feel super, super fancy. But uh, true to the theme of this project, uh, you may notice that um, I didn't manage to floss all of the boning channels along the top because I ran out of 
the ivory silk twist. <laughs> First the grommets, then the lacing, and now this. It's, it's, that's just the theme of this corset. The party was so much fun. Um, everything worked perfectly under the dress. It was really comfortable. Like I spent, I don't know, I think I probably got dressed at six in the evening gown and I didn't leave until 2.30. I did not expect to stay up that late, but that's what happened. Although the bit I said about like, oh, it doesn't matter if the stitching's clean because this is not the sort of party where people are gonna be seeing me in my underwear. Apparently I was incorrect because me and some of the other ladies around midnight decided we were tired of wearing our dresses, but we didn't wanna go home yet. So we just sorta of took them off and, and hung out in our underwear. We've all done that backstage at Dickens. It's nothing anybody hadn't seen before, but it, it, it was a good time. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching me attempt to sew a corset on a frankly ridiculous timeline. Tell me in the comments about projects you have done on way too tight of a deadline, how they went, how you got through them, um, any ridiculous stories that you have, please. I love reading those. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe for more fashion history silliness, and I shall see you later this month. Bye!